So we're up here behind the city hall of Ventura and uh, the city has come through and done a, at least initial hydro seeding of this area that burned. We're just below the botanical garden right here. Um, they did the seeding this past uh, weekend. I just want to show you what this is. So this is a typical approach that people take when we have relatively steep sided hillsides typically done um, by October 15th during regular type of construction things which is our rule of thumb when the rainy season starts in California. But this is how you essentially uh, work to stabilize uh, these, these devegetated, these bare uh, soils. And so what we have here is we had a, a, a truck that was parked here and shot this stuff. Now this stuff is a mix of binder, usually a cellulose matrix. Get a little closer, see if you can see this a cellulose matrix. And if you look really close, what you'll see is it's a bunch of seeds. So this, this was whatever they had on hand, which is probably not the best thing in the world, not native dominated, but um, as we would have liked, but, but this, is, um, this is probably a fescue. And so all these little guys here, these are all little, let's see if we can focus that. These are all little grass seeds. And so, so the, the white, I can't really see that too well. So the, the little flecks here are seeds and then the stuff in between, the, the fuzz, that um, can be different things. Cellulose matrix can be ground up plants with different materials, but it's some kind of binder and that's gonna make it very sticky, kind of tacky, and it's gonna make it stick to the soil even though it's not perfectly flat. Uh, now, just doing, typically when, when we do a restoration or something, we'll follow this up with some type of um, something covering this because this is, this is huge bird food. So if you do it too early and the rains are a ways off, you might lose a lot of your seed to herbivory or granivory um, as um, our, our little birds come in and eat this stuff. Also, you'll note it looks green, right? So there's a little bit of dye you put in so that you know, so that the guys, as they're spray painting the hillside here, they know when they, this is a you know, non-toxic food coloring type stuff, they know when they've uh, shot an area and, uh, and can go on to the next. So as you can see here, it's covering everything. It's covering the, some of the ice plant that survived, boo, bad ice plant, uh, some of the you know, woody material, some of the bare soil, etc. And the idea here is uh, ideally we get a nice little light rain, a nice little misting of rain first. That'll induce these guys to germinate and then maybe, you know, a little, little light rain for another couple days, week or two. Let those, ideally those, those grass roots get set and attached and fixed to help stabilize the soil. So by the time we get the first big downpour, we do have some uh, plant matrix, some root matrix going into the soil, to, st to the, uh, the, the hillside to stabilize it. Um, sometimes if we just get a big dump the first time, it's not gonna be as effective. But, but in any event, this is an example of um, standard erosion control, in this case, right in the immediate wake of the Thomas fire here above the Ventura uh, City Hall just below the Ventura Botanical Gardens in December of 2017.